हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ कंप्यूटर जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ x प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ y इक्वल्स टू 10 एंड स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ x y इक्वल्स टू 10 एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ x एंड y सो फर्स्ट वी कॉल दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन नंबर 1 एंड वी कॉल दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन नंबर 2 एंड नाउ हियर वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन इक्वेशन नंबर 1 सो दैट फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर 1 वी विल जस्ट टेक स्क्वेयरिंग ऑन बोथ ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ इक्वेशन नंबर 1 एंड इट विल बी रिटन एज स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ x प्लस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ y इक्वल्स टू 10 स्क्वेयर हियर बिकॉज़ वी टेक स्क्वेयरिंग ऑन बोथ ऑफ द साइड्स so further in the next step here we can just open the nice square identity um, you know about this formula if you have a uh, square root of x square plus square root of uh, y square plus two times of square root of x into square root of y equals to this 10 square equals to 100 and now here uh, you see that this 2 and square root are gone and we get here x plus this 2 and square root are gone and we get y plus 2 times of square root of x and square root of y equals to 10. This is from equation number 2. So we will substitute this equals to 10 and this whole equals to 100. So we will obtain here uh, x plus y equals to this is 2 times of 10 becomes 20 when we move this 20 to the right hand side it will be written as 100 minus 20 so 100 minus 20 equals to 80 so we have this is x plus y equals to 80 and we call this is our equation number 3. So now we uh, need to focus on equation number 2 so that from equation number 2 we can just copy down equation number 2 here it is x y square root equals to 10 and now we will again take scaling on equation number 2 and you see that this 2 and square root are gone and we get x y equals to this 10 square equals to 100 and we call this is our equation number 4. So now we, will, we need to solve equation number 3 and equation number 4. Uh, so first we focus on equation number 3 so that from equation number 3 we have here we move this x to the right hand side and it will be written as uh, y equals to 80 minus x we call this is our equation number 5 we substitute the value of y in equation number 4 uh, so that equation number 4 is implies that this is x into y and we have the value of y is 80 minus x equals to 100 uh, and now here further in the next step we have we multiply x on both of these values and it will be written as 80x minus x square equals to 100. So here we move these two values to the right hand side. So this is minus x squared becomes plus x squared. This is plus 80x becomes minus 80x. This is 100 equals to 0. So now you see here this equation will become quadratic in x variable so that here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. First we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 80 and c equals to 100 and quadratic formula is stated as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So here we need to substitute the values of a, b and c in this formula and it will be written as x equals to minus b. The value of b is minus 80 plus minus square root of b square. b is minus 80 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 100 and it is divided by 2 times of a. So here our a is equals to 1. And now in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and we have x equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 80 and plus minus square root of uh, uh, 80 square. So 80 square equals to 6400 and minus 4 times of 100 equals to 400 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And here next in the next step we have this is 80 plus minus. So here 6400 minus 400 equals to 6000 and it is divided by 2. So here uh, we need to break this 60,000 and we write it as 80 and uh, uh, 
plus minus we write the 6000 as 400 multiplied by 15 and it is divided by 2 so here we uh, break the square root and it will be written as 80 plus minus we write this square root of 400 into square root of 50 and it is divided by 2 and now in the next step we have this is 80 plus minus we know that uh, the square root of 400 equals to 20 and this is square root of 50 and here uh, we need to break this fraction so we can write this two separately on both of these values so you see here this is two fours are 80 and zero so this is two tens are 20 and we get the two values of x are 40 plus minus 10 times of square root of 50 so these are the two values of x so here uh, for two values of x we will find the corresponding values of y so this is x equals to 40 plus 10 into square root of 15 here we write the negative value it is 40 minus 10 into square root of 15 so here we uh, we need uh, equation number 5 here so that uh, from equation number 5 we have we need to copy down equation number 5 here it is 80 minus x so when we can put uh, this value of x here it will be written as y equals to 80 minus x the value of x is uh, 40 plus 10 times of square root of 15 and similarly in this case we have y equals to 80 minus x we put this value it is 40 minus 10 into square root of 15 okay so further we need more simplification it will be written as 80 minus 40 minus 10 times of square root of 15 so we get the value of y equals to 40 minus 10 times of square root of 15 this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this okay uh, similarly we move towards our second case and here you have this is 80 minus 40 we have 80 minus 40 plus 10 times of square root of 15 so we get the value of y equals to 80 minus 40 becomes here 40 plus 10 times of square root of 15 so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this one uh, so here so finally we have the two solution sets of the given equation are here we will write both of these solution sets so x y is equals to the first solution is 40 plus 10 times of square root of 15 this is the value of x and corresponding value of y is 40 minus 10 times of square root of 15 and the second solution set is uh, the value of x is 40 minus 10 times of square root of 15 the value of y is 40 plus 10 times of uh, square root of 15 so this is the our second solution set of the given equation and these are the two solutions of the given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos